The graffiti tagging, as it's called, was not a harmless prank. New 6's Brian Didlake explains why. New at 11. The LGBTQ plus center of Orlando is the latest target of vandalism that's been plaguing various businesses in this area. Now Commissioner Patty Sheehan is stepping in and calling for accountability. I don't even want to call them taggers. I want to call them trashers because they spread their garbage all over this beautiful neighborhood. Orlando City Commissioner Patty Sheehan says enough is enough. Tough words calling for accountability after the LGBTQ plus center of Orlando's bus was tagged, causing an estimated $2,000 of damage. The center wasn't available for comment, but says the bus is used for HIV testing and is set to be used for community outreach next week. They're actually hurting a not-for-profit organization trying to do good work in the community by scrawling their ugly garbage all over it. And I don't understand what their problem is. I mean. Are they offended by helping others? Are they just awful people? This past week, Commissioner Sheehan said the tagger or taggers targeted track shop just down the road. Back in August, murals were also hit in Mills 50. Colonial Town in South Orlando and other areas also reporting more tagging. It's raised enough concern for Commissioner Sheehan to step in. If we have to have a new state law, if we have to pass a new ordinance at the city level, I'm going to do whatever I can. And we're also going to be reinstating a reward to turn in taggers and trashers because this situation is just causing way too much damage in our city. Commissioner Sheen advises businesses to invest in cameras to help identify these taggers. If anyone has information on who this person or persons may be, you're encouraged to call police immediately. We're in Orlando. Brian Dillick getting results. News 6.